Hi, I'm Brendan Nee, and today we're talking about creating a game-like survey with Next.js to figure out what users really value. My company, BlinkTag Inc., works with transportation-related government agencies and nonprofits to build web apps and mobile apps. And one thing transit and transportation agencies often want is user feedback on transit system expansion and improvements. Agencies have a fixed budget and many possible things they could spend it on. Now this talk is gonna focus on the specific niche of transit agency surveys, but the game-like solution we're talking about for getting user feedback could be used for any type of organization to collect any type of feedback. And the code for everything we'll discuss is open source. And so you can use the same style of gamified survey for anything you'd like. Now a common way to get user feedback is with a survey, but surveys aren't actually always a great way to get user feedback. Uh, first of all, surveys are fairly boring. Users often tire of lengthy surveys with large grids of similar questions, ranking style questions, or questions that ask if they strongly agree, agree, neither disagree, etc. Second, when you ask, users usually want all the things. If not given any trade-offs, users will say they want everything. Here's an example of a fairly ineffective survey to which most people would answer yes to all the questions since they're not given any trade-offs or constraints. Third, people don't really know how much things cost. In the transportation world, as in most areas, costs for different types of improvements and things vary wildly. For example, a city could be considering adding bike lanes to a street and also be considering extending an underground subway line. And if asked which of these improvements they prefer, users may not be aware that subways cost at least 7,000 times per mile than a bike lane. And that could really greatly change their opinion. I've worked with over 40 transportation agencies to develop a budgeting game, which is actually still a survey, uh, that overcomes all these downsides. It's built with Next.js, it's customizable, easy to deploy, and has uh, admin features baked in. Now, here's how the game works. Users are presented a list of possible improvements, each with cost and benefits listed. They're also given a budget and asked to select which improvements they prefer. So they can click on and off different improvements. And as they do so, the, the total cost is shown. And also the total benefits across several different categories, such as environment or passenger experience, is visualized in real time. So they can see the impact of specific improvements uh, immediately and quickly see that some types of improvements cost much more than others. And also learn that you can't get everything you want. The feedback from agencies and the public using these interactive game-like surveys has been overwhelmingly positive. Users really enjoy the, the game, uh, as opposed to a traditional survey. They feel their voice has been heard, that their feedback is important. Uh, for agencies, not only are they collecting feedback, just like any survey would, but they're actually educating the public by teaching them about the relative costs and benefits of proposed improvements, something that you wouldn't get in a survey. Why is Next.js such a good fit for developing this type of game? Well, besides all the obvious benefits of Next.js uh, and React, like ease of development, built-in routing, caching, uh, the list is long, and I'm not gonna get into that. The, uh, there's several that work really well for this project, including uh, re reusability, translation support, built-in API routes for saving responses, and uh, API routes for uh, administrators exporting uh, formatted responses as CSV. So first, reusability, uh, this survey was actually uh, designed to be deployed for multiple agencies. And so it was really important to make it easy to change and reuse the framework as needed. And so by structuring all of the improvements shown and as a JSON, it's really easy to edit, rearrange, uh, update survey questions uh, and just adding a title description, some cost and benefit info in an object uh, it makes it show up uh, in the list. It's also easy to extend those objects with more properties and, and modify the survey to show those as needed. With translation support, uh, a lot of agencies want to have this in more than one language and they actually want it professionally translated. By making all the text uh, that shows up on the site a JSON object and using Next.js routes, it's easy to have professionally translated versions of the survey available on different pages in as many languages as are needed. Uh, and API routes are, are key. Um, 
the bulk of the survey is all on the front end, but we need an API route for saving responses to the database. Uh, in this example, we save the timestamp, uh, user agent, IP address, along with the responses to uh, MongoDB database. Um, although you could, in this part, you could connect to any type of database to, to save the responses and handle uh, any errors. And when the survey is over, we want to check on how it's going. Um, we have a API route to export the results. We use HTTP basic auth uh, and uh, a few NPM packages. Um, this is the code for the endpoint that exports the results as CSV. Um, and it's protected by HTTP basic auth. So only admins who know the username and password, which is stored in an environment variable, can retrieve the responses. This survey system has actually been used by over 40 transportation agencies, including BART, Long Beach, Salt Lake City, Las Vegas, Honolulu. Uh, the feedback we've gotten has been overwhelmingly positive. Really, users really love the format. Uh, they feel their voice has been heard. They uh, learn a little bit about the um, different improvements the agencies are considering and how much they cost. And uh, it's open source. So the, this is something that uh, I'd love for anyone to take and extend and, and build off of. The GitHub URL is here. Now, all, all the examples we went over to focus on transportation, but there's nothing really in this survey that's transportation specific. You could use it to collect feedback from any type of user for any type of project or product. Uh, it'd be great if you want to build off of what we've already built uh, or integrate this into a larger survey or application. Uh, I'm definitely open to pull requests, uh, feedback, and questions, and my Twitter and email are provided here. Thanks for listening.